Okay, uh, everyone, you're very welcome. Uh, this is now our fourth uh, webinar. Malky, you're very, very welcome. Uh, I'm just going to do a short introduction on you. Um, just a few things that you've done in your career. Uh, you, you, you played for Derry Lynn, you played for Ergel Kieran, and of course you played for your county Fermanagh. Um, as manager, you've won club championships in Ergel Kieran, you've won club championships in Cavan Gales, and you won a club championship with the Loop in Derry. And not alone did you won a club championship with the Loop in Derry, but you went on to win the Ulster club title with the Loop. You've managed your own county Fermanagh, and you took them to an Ulster final in 2008 when they were beat by one kick of the ball after a replay against a very good Armagh team. And recently, you were you were seven years as manager with Manon senior team. You won two Ulster titles. And again, you were a kicker of all in 2018 of being in the All Ireland final. So, Mal Malachi, I don't know. Uh, you haven't been, you're, 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 uh, you've been a, a very busy man. And no matter where you go, you always seem to have success. So, as I say, Malachi, you're very welcome to our webinar. So, I'm going to just move on, Malachi, and get into the questions. There's been, as Paul said, there's been a lot, a lot of questions. We'll do our best to cover every angle we can. We just can't answer them all, coaches, but we'll do our very, very best. So, um, the first question, Malachi, county players tend to be more focused on their roles for the team. But how do you get club players to focus in and give real commitment to ensure you have a successful season? Okay, Tony, uh, could I just say, first of all, thanks very much for, for the welcome and thanks to yourself and Paul for those kind words. Um, I'm delighted to be here and, and helping you out tonight. Um, I, I suppose uh, what you're saying about the the I suppose the difference between club and, and county players. I'm sure a lot of club players would would suggest that the, there isn't any real difference and that their focus is is every bit as as good. I suppose in many ways it, it depends a wee bit on on the the club you're with and uh, maybe sometimes the the county you're with. You know whether you see much much difference or not. Um, but probably again, I would say that that the the coach has a, has a big role to play. In that you know, if you want to get people to commit to anything, uh, it's, it's important to, to to you know to give them a, a vision and and to you know paint a picture for players that they are going to buy into that the 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 the, the see there's a realistic chance of winning things, and again, it's 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 important to be realistic because you know the way, if, particularly with clubs, if if a club is after struggling for a number of years and and hasn't. Uh, hasn't really had much success. If you suddenly go in and start telling that they're going to win county championships or something else they got there, you can lose players very quickly and, and they sort of think, well, look, at he, he's, he's saying that there's, there's not much substance to what he's saying. So I think it's, it's, it's very important, you know, to, to be honest with players, but again, that, to set a vision uh, that, that they can, that they can, that can appeal to them and that they, 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 they buy into and after that, I suppose it's about it's about creating the environment that that you know that that it'll give them the best chance of success, and again that they, they sort of can buy into you know and I'm talking there you know of of you know having certain standards right from the off that that uh, that players you know can see and that they, and then then that you're true to that that you know they expect certain standards and and you're putting them in place and and you hold them to that. Um, just having that that wee bit of honesty, you know that you know when you tell players at the start of the year, you know we're going to give everyone a fair chance, a fair crack at the whip, and then suddenly, hey, you know those young fellas playing, training really well, playing well, and 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 doing well, and then a senior player comes back after missing two months of training, and suddenly, uh, trains for one night, and you put him back in on the Sunday. You know that things like that can can uh, you know can undermine everything you you have done. And then again, just just so I think it's the whole environment you create and 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 having the, the you know having crack. I think having a bit of crack in, in the things very important as well. Uh, people are more inclined to buy into it's an enjoyment environment, enjoyable environment. But they also know that 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 uh, you know the, there's certain standards and you know that there's, there's a real focus about what you're doing. And and I think that's the only way. So I think the coach is a big part to play. And I, you know. If, unless you know you you do that and are, and are very clear and 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 paint a, a picture for people, 
you know, they're not suddenly just going to buy into it, you know, because you have one meeting at the start of the year and tell them, you know, look, this is the way it's going to be. And that's what I would say, Tony, just to finish off. It's not going to happen overnight. So it's not a case of, well, I'll have one meeting at the start of the year and, and, and say this to all the boys and then it'll automatically fall into place. I think it's very much a case then of, of this seeps in over a period of time. Players are watching the see, right? What he said, he's, he's sticking to you know, he is demanding them standards. He's not letting up. And 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 suddenly through time, people then find that, look, this is this is what he wants. This is what he's, he's sticking to. And I think the players will buy into that. I well, I'm going to lead on from that, Malachi. You're talking about, you're talking about realistic goals. Uh, you're talking about not setting them too high. I know fairly well because I'm from there. You went to, you went to a club, The Loop, who hadn't, who hadn't, I think, won maybe a championship in 68 or 70 years. Uh, not, a, not alone, I don't know what goals you set there, but but not alone did you won a county title, which was like an alliance to look, you went on to win an officer club. Well, uh, could you explain how did that happen? If, uh, was your re- I'm sure your realistic goal wasn't a county title at the start of the year, and maybe it was. I'm sure, I know it wasn't an officer title, but uh, you must have reset goals as, as, as you've seen the lads buying into your, your way of play or your way of, of coaching. Well, I suppose we did, but in fairness, going into the loop, even though they hadn't won a championship for, for that many years, they still had a lot of a lot of experienced players. And in fairness, you know, Patsy Forbes had been there the year before, and had got them to a county final, and, and maybe they just didn't perform in the county final. But they still had there the still was a lot of ability there. They'd won a, maybe a couple of Ulster Minor titles, you know, those players coming up. And so I knew there was I knew there was good players there. I knew they had had a lot of good preparation done in the years previous that maybe people weren't aware of. And then it's it's like that you know you set your goals at the start, and then as people see as as time goes on, people you know start believing in the thing more. Uh, there was a time, I suppose, at the start when when you know you know you always will get you know few people. The commitment wouldn't be as good as you like, but as to see the thing. Uh, going and then word of mouth's a great thing. Players are saying, "No, oh, look at this. This this is going well. The the, the training's going well, and so on." It 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 you know that, that it, it one thing builds on another, and and uh, and you know with, with any team, if you if you have the players and you you have uh, fellas who are prepared to put in the commitment, you know anything is possible, and that's that's been shown time and time again. Thank you, Malky. Right, number two, what qualities does a manager need to be successful? Um, well, again, <laughs> there's a, uh, I suppose, the, 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 you know, there, there's a long answer to that one there, I suppose, as well, you know, but I suppose the first thing, you know, the, the manager himself has to be organised. Um, you have to be driven yourself. You have to be ambitious. You know, you have to have a hunger yourself to, to want to achieve things. I think, I think that's that's very important. Um, and, and I think as well as that, it's, 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 it's it's being yourself. It's not it's not trying to be somebody else. You know, it's, there's no point in me going to a club or a county and trying to be Brian Cody or trying to be somebody I'm not. You know, you have to be true yourself. And I think that players want that sort of that someone that's authentic and that that you know they can they can relate to. Um, again, I suppose you know you have to you have to be a good communicator. And I said earlier on, you have to sort of try and communicate that that vision or you know. What what's possible if everybody buys into into what you're doing, you know? And I think I think that's that's very important as well. And you know, there is there is no right and wrong way to to manage a team or or, or to coach a team. Even you know, you hear you know a lot of you do it this way, you do that. I think you have to find out what's best for the players you that you have at your disposal. And you know, it's 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 just building on that. Um, again, I suppose you know it's it's. You know, as a manager, it, 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 you have to have some sort of knowledge. And I saw, you know, I was watching one of your other webinars too, Tony. And, you know, I think I think you do have to, because no matter what you say to the players, if after a certain period of time they think, well, this man doesn't really know what he's on about, or, you know, so you do have to have knowledge to, to back up what you're saying. That, that's important. Um, and uh, I think then it's just about building a relationship with people uh, being honest with them again uh, that I uh, that I mentioned earlier on, uh, and and uh, and and probably you know if the, if one thing that's very important as well that I, I often think is that I suppose at the end of the day, the manager is there to serve the players. 
you know, and I think players are very quick to, to realise that, that if they think the manager's here and he's more worried about himself or he wants to, um, you know, get his own profile up or he wants to, you know, you know, he, he he's more concerned about himself. He wants to win for his own ends rather than the team. I think players are very, very quick to cob on that. So I think it's, it's very important that, you know, that you, the players know that whatever you're doing, you're doing for them and you're trying to, do the best for them, and, and, I, and they, I think that's an important quality that that the sometimes maybe is overlooked. But the, the the players are very quick to to see, you know, if you if if you know if if you have that sort of, um, oh, I suppose maybe a wee bit of honesty in that about you, you know. Very good, very good, Maliki. In terms of managing players, people, how do you deal with the talented player who thinks differently? from the rest of the group? Um, that, that, that's an interesting one. Um, I suppose you've often heard, you, you maybe sometimes hear of those players as mavericks. And uh, I, I, to be honest with you, you know, I think you, you know yourself, Tony, that in every group, you're going to get a lot of different individuals, you know, and, and that's great because you can't, you, you you don't want to go into a group where everybody's the same and, and everybody's, you know, just just do, uh, operating in the same way. That's part of the, I suppose, the, the fascination of the whole thing is, is trying to deal with players like that. And I think that the the the, the maverick player, you know, the, 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 that individual player is very important to you because he might be the player who can make the difference He's the player who can unlock the fences, who has that special wee bit of magic and creativity about him that maybe others play. He, he can be the, the game winner. The only thing I would say is probably that it's up then to the, to the manager or whatever to, 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 I suppose, talk to that player, to, to make sure that he rates. Because at the end of the day, if you're not, if, if boys aren't playing as a team, you're not going to win anything. So it doesn't matter if you have a great, a brilliant, talented player on the ends. He, if he just plays as as as, a, as an individual player and it doesn't doesn't uh, work as part of a team, you know, you're not going to get success anyway. So it's 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 really trying to get that you know, get it. and I think the more things go on, it's then showing them, you know, that when 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 you do start playing as a team, you can see the this the, the way the team is improving and building on that and showing you know and when you're doing your video work and that showing that. So it is and and, and sometimes that that that. Uh, individual type player you know do, you know he does require a wee bit of work, more work than 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 some of the other players and that that's you know that's that's par for the course and i think maybe everybody accepts that but so but I, look there's there's definitely there's definitely a, a place for it but it, it's just how you handle it and i always, I always remember i don't know where it's a bit uh, one about alex ferguson and eric cantona and eric cantona of course was the, one of the you know the, the the greatest mavericks you could get but someone said about, I think, I think uh, United were after winning the the Premiership again, and uh, the uh, <laughs> so, uh, but they were after winning the Premiership, and uh, they were having a, an open top tour or whatever bus tour around around the city of Manchester, and Ferguson told all the, the players he won them all in their their club blazers and ties and whatever else to look and represent the club properly. So that was all right, no problem. But they arrived in the, the, the Sunday morning for the tour or whatever else and Cantona he arrived in a pair of jeans and a, and a denim jacket. So immediately there was, there was a, a possibility of a problem. But the story goes that Ferguson went round the whole players during the day, nudged them and said, she's in Cantona a wild man, you know, think me he's a serious character, the way he tells you that, she couldn't talk to him. And just made a joke of it. And by the end of the day, the whole thing was forgotten about that this was just Cantona, this was the way he was. You know, and what could have been a big scene, Ferguson was just able to diffuse it in his own way. And I think that's, it, it's it's that ability to to read situations, I suppose, and, and diffuse things when you have to, because, you know, it's, 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 I suppose it has the possibility to, have conflict at time if 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 you're not careful as well. Maybe a wee bit more, maybe a wee bit more work, Malachi, away from the field. Would there be an arm around the shoulder, a phone call? Does it take that times? That's that's right, definitely. You know, because you do, you just have to, you, you know, you have to just weigh up. Different people require different things, and and you know, you know, seventy five, eighty percent of of boys a lot of the time don't require that. You might have, you know, a few others who who do require that, and just you you just need to have ongoing dialogue. And and here, a lot of times, 
you don't need that. And, and, and I've been very lucky, in, in, in fairness, in, in, in uh, the teams I've been with, uh, have had came across no players really that, that, that were like that, you know, and or not, not big time anyway. You'd obviously get differences in players, but nothing that required too much, uh, too much uh, extra attention. All right, well, this next question will, uh, there will be another one here. How do you go about keeping players motivated and hungry? who perhaps are not making the Force 15 on a regular basis. What tips could you share to less experienced managers? Yeah, again, that, that, that is uh, probably is one of the most difficult ones of all, but, you know, because you, you can easily say at the start of the year, you know, that everyone will get a, a a fair crack at a whip and and uh, you know that boys will get a game time but it's always the case that some people don't get as much game time as others I think there's a couple of things I think at, at the start of the year you know I think you have to emphasize that the sort of the panel ethos you know that that it, it, everybody's every you want everyone to buy into it that, that everybody is working together that, that some people will get more game time than others, but it's it's very much in that you know it's it, I suppose the the cause is bigger than any one player, you know, and uh, so it's it, it's trying to get that 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 panel ethos you know built up straight away, and then after that I think again it is it, is, it goes back to that word honesty, you know, if you say to to fellow start of the year that you know we're going to give you we're going to give you a fair kind of if if you're training well you're preparing well we we give you that chance. And if you do give them the chance, it's not a case then of, of waiting until they have a bad game to, to take them off again. If they take the chance, you know, well, that fair play, that's exactly what you want. And it's, it's putting pressure on, on other people as well, you know. So it's that. And then as well as that, I suppose the other thing is that everybody is there. You know, you, you know you're trying to get collective improvement and you're trying to improve each individual player as well. So it's giving feedback. It's going back to the players and saying, look, this, this is what we think you need to improve on here. This is the wee years that 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 might push up the the, the pecking order a wee bit, and 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 being as honest as you, as you can, and and, and trying to improve that. Way. And and the other the other big thing, I suppose, more than anything, it's just that everybody feels valued. You know that that it's not a case. We'll look at these are the twenty boys or twenty two boys that's playing most time. I, I, I wouldn't be too worried about you. You could. I think they're centrally involved, and you know that no matter what you're doing. They, their their opinion is valued as much as anybody else. You know that the, they're very much a part of everything you do. And because if you're sitting with a panel of 30, 35 players, number 35 could be smarter and have a, a smarter football brain than number one or, or myself standing talking to them or anybody else. You know, so it's very important to, 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 to appreciate that. And I, I think players value that as well. That, that, that even though they might be playing it, I think you know, people do realise that, well, look, at, I know it's going to be hard to get on this, but at least if they feel valued in the environment, again, the, the, the enjoying the, the camaraderie, there's a good team spirit and everything else. You know, the, it is that they sometimes can buy into that thing that's, that's, that's bigger than themselves. And it's, look at it, but it is it's, it's, it is a tricky thing. And it's, you know, it's, it's you can only go back and, and uh, say the same thing to people so many times. But it's, it's you know, you, as long as you, you're trying as best you can to be, to be honest and, and to value everybody, I think that's a big thing. Very good, Malachi. Right. Main differences, uh, main differences from you starting out a number of years ago as a manager or a coach compared to now? I mean, main difference when you started out a number of years ago as a manager or coach compared to now? Um, well, well, the game, the game has, has, has definitely changed a lot over that, that period of time. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's definitely more, a lot more tactical. You know, there's, you know, I don't know when I start, obviously when I was playing and then when I started, but even Tony, I'm sure you, you watched the game yourself, the, the famous, Derry down game in 1994. Mm -hmm. When you watch that game, you see the the, the 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 difference in the game, and even it's become a a, a much more possession based game. And there's there, look, there's no there was the the players who were on the field in 1994 were some of the finest players to have ever graced the football field. You know, and those two brilliant teams and all the rest. But you can see the difference in the game, and it, it because at that time possession just wasn't valued as much. In that you, you, you got you, you got the ball and you kept it sometimes, but other times you kicked it into the forward line and let them win their own ball. And because of that, then it was a case that those 
a lot there's a number of times it was cut out. And that was and that was just that was the way football was played at that time. Now this you you seldom see that. And, you know, you, you watch I suppose Dublin at their best and so on. And the, you know, they do not give possession away. You know, they, they have as many possessions, but it's all the time keeping it, keeping it, keeping it. And you know, they, they don't waste very much ball. And I think that's that's one of the big changes that, that that's happened. I suppose the this last few years, the kickouts have become a massive part of the game, you know, because they're, you know, very much a part of that possession game of 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 of, of keeping your own possessions and, and then trying to take the opposition's possessions because it's sometimes very hard to get the, the possession off the opposition. So if you can if you can disrupt their kick outs, it's a big thing. Um and I suppose the, the the you know just even the 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 you know, the players have become a lot more athletic now than 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 they were possibly in the past just with the, the you know more strength and condition and things like that, um, and and probably again one of the big things now and and, and you hear it in all sports now, decision making, decision making is the key now. It's it's it's. Making the right decision on the ball, and that's that's what you're. That's what a lot of the training is devoted to now, is putting players in 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 situations where they have to make the right decision. The right decision under pressure, uh, the right decision in you know obviously in certain parts of the field, but you know at at, at certain times. And uh, so that, that that's the I suppose that's the with regards to the game itself. That's the that's the biggest change. I suppose then the facilities and all things that all of those things, the strength and condition, the the more emphasis on the on this the strength and condition, uh, you know, th those are all things that are changing. I I I don't like being reminded of ninety four uh, Malachi because I know the. <laughs> They talk about the they talk about the good game, but it's it is I know it is it's about one and two at that level especially. So and uh, you're right because uh, there was a lot more kicking back then in them days and the games. Um, you you just can't you just can't kick away possession cheaply now because you can be punished, you know. But the but it's a different game, you know. It was, I'm saying Malaga, I'm saying Malaga. It was maybe a more a better game to watch for spectators more so maybe now, but you know, uh, but still. When you see the top level teams playing at uh, club or county, it's still it's still lovely to watch. Right, good. And next one, Malachi. Process preparation in lead up to a championship game. Yeah, again, um, I suppose you know there, there's there's no right and wrong way to doing it, and different different uh, people have, have have different ways of doing it. Um, and I suppose maybe the one thing is 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 trying to be consistent in that in, in your approach to that. It's it's um I suppose it's it's, it's looking at, at opposition, you know, looking at opposition and you know it, it, that that is very important. You know, you, you want to concentrate on, on your own team and your own strengths and so on. But there's no doubt that you're you're in a much better position um to win a game if if you have studied the opposition well. You know their strengths that you have to try and counter, but you also then you know the the areas that you can exploit and that you're looking to try. And so, I think that's that's important. I think it's very important as well that that your players know their roles and responsibilities. That in other words, it's been there. It's, it's been clearly said them. Look at this. This is what what I want you to do. This is what I expect. You know, man mark and job and so on. And you know, you do that. You know, in plenty of time before the game, so the boys can come back and chat about it. And just the difference, happy going in that they know exactly what they want to do, what you want them to. Do. I suppose then, as the as the week goes on, it's it's more a case then of of um. Just, just getting the important information over to them. I suppose you know you're going into the game, and this, 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 this might be the right word in here. And I, I, I thought of you know thinking of relaxed intensity, <laughs> if, if that's uh -huh. if that's possible. Uh -huh. It's that it's that you know we talked about decision making, how important decision making is. Having fellas going into a game with clear heads that they're not that they're they're able to make good decisions, 
but the same time that that intensity is still there, that they're not going in with no emotion and too relaxed that they don't. And that's that's a really hard balance to get at, at, at times. And there's some games, depending on who you're playing and depending on, on, on you know, previous games against the opposition, sometimes it's very easy to get that that emotional thing right. Sometimes it's not not as, as easy. And so so it, it's, it's sort of gauging the temperature as well so that you're trying to, to get the play. But again, the closer you get to the game, it's keeping trying to keep the, the, the players relaxed, know their jobs, um, no 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 overload of information, trying to keep the information that that is as I said to you, trying to keep the, the mind as, as clear as it can so that they're they're able to, to concentrate on important things and that you know that you're you're not cluttering the mind it's say. Uh, do do you believe in do you believe in going out an uh, evening before uh, for a kickabout uh, leading up the evening before a game? Do you believe in meeting up or for a wee kickabout? Do you believe in that, Malachi? It's, I suppose it's not so much a case of, of believing in it, Tony, and that I, I know, and just who you mentioned the loop earlier on, I know we, we did that in the loop a lot. We would have went out and, and, and had a wee kickabout and a, and a meeting on a Saturday night before games, and it probably did, didn't do us a pain of harm. I know usually. I would put it to the players and, and find out what what worked best for them, what they like doing. And I've found usually, you know, with 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 Monaghan, you know, sometimes, you know, before Championship games, we might have had a, a not even so much more just a, a wee uh, stretching session, a loosening session on a on a Saturday morning, um, and had a just a couple of words, but nothing, no, just just to, to to have the boys together and that. And then those other times that we didn't, we 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 left the gap, so it was more time for players just to. To get relaxed and, and chill out themselves and not be thinking too much of the game. It was just to, to, that they were, you know, going in a good frame of mind. So, but I don't think there's again there's no right or wrong way of doing it. I suppose it just depends what what suits the the team you're with and what what they like to do, what they feel is best for them. Very good, Malachi. Very good. Uh, right. Um, our next one here, Malachi, is how do you manage a change in playing style from a team's traditional playing DNA to your new vision for their future style. Example: more defensive setup or committing more to attacks. Yeah, again, it's an interesting one. Um, I suppose, regardless of what team you're with, I think it's it, it's a case of nearly maybe getting it's it's concentrating on the basics first. You know the the as most you talk, the the non-negotiables. So I think it's it's about concentrating on you know let's get our work rate right. You know let's get that that team spirit right. Let's let's get our 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 sort of most, maybe our team defence right. That that you know when we lose the ball, everyone's prepared to work for that team to to get it back and to to limit the damage the opposition does. Um. You know, you're you're attacking and but you even now kick out. So I think it's getting that base in place first, and then I suppose it's it, 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 as you say, if, if if a team has has um has been playing a certain style, I don't think you can just go in and say overnight, right, we're we're, we're switching completely here. You know, because that that that's a sure way that you know so if a team has has been spending a lot of time and a lot of you know playing in a very defensive system, and you suddenly go in and say right, all out attack. I don't think that's going to work, or vice versa. So I think it's it's a case of you you have to convince the 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 players, you know, why you're doing this, and then through time, you know, through through the training ground and through the coaching, is trying to 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 get them to buy into it and see right. Well, look at this is working. I know why we're doing it. Our results are improving, and you, and it's 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 just it's, I think that's the that's the way of doing it. You know, to to that you have to convince them over a period of time that it's the right way. It gives you the best chance of winning. And once players see that, you know, I think that makes that transition easier. You know, so not not doing it just at all in the one go, but but over a period of time. Very good, very good, Malachi. Right. <coughs> With all the coaching sessions you attended over the years. Have there been much benefit to you and have you ever attended coaching sessions from all the sports? And if so, were they beneficial? Yeah, well, the the, the definitely were, you know, and that um, I suppose it's a matter of everyone's the same. You're, you're trying to, 
uh, upskill all the time and and you know see see you know, see what, what what what's out there and what what we things you know and again I say it's 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 not a, a you know it's not copying people as such but it's, it's just seeing is there better ways of doing things and and uh, was it the uh, someone Pep Guardiola or someone t t talked to said he was a great idea thief you know so uh -huh. it's 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 uh, so it's, it's a case of 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 if you see something out there that, that works better is take it um and you know it's it's you know the, the the coaching courses you know you pick up stuff from that um you know from you know, watching webinars and watching webinars that you yourselves are doing also council um you know podcasts reading you know all 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 of those things you know it's, it's a matter of trying to just to, to pick up things as 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 you go along and i suppose you you know you have to have that sort of thirst for knowledge and thirst you know it's i'd be the first one to say like i have an awful lot to learn and and uh you know, I I know that myself, and it's it's just a, a case of trying to you know see, and then you know, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you're always picking up different wee bits and pieces that you can you can apply to your own uh, situation, and and that's that's I suppose that's the way it's done. But certainly, you know, the, all the different um, things you go to are, are, are very useful. Very good. Uh, just to the coaches that's online, uh, as Paul said, to start coaches, don't be a fear to use it the, the chat box um we 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 have a number of questions to cover yes but if i have time to finish up we uh, i'll do my best to get them um hopefully get um ask them till malachi ff time so there's opportunity of asking another one if you want to so the next one uh, do you think counties do enough to manage a transition from manager to manager when you came into monaghan would you have had much feedback about the squad based on the previous manager, coaches, strength and conditioning, etc., etc. Um, I suppose, just thinking back now, um, probably, maybe more so with regards to the, the training and say the things, the, the uh, I suppose, fitness test, Ryan, Ryan Porter, um, maybe would have been more you know would have got all the data and stuff and then in fairness again you know one thing uh, there would be an you know a, 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 from the physios would have, although probably that was it we we kept on the the, the same physios so that, that the all the information on the injuries and that would have been there um it was even like an Amy was there two years previous to me and Eamon was, was was great you know and, and it would give me any help that I would have needed I suppose it's, it's, it's getting that balance I suppose you're going in and you're telling players it's it's a it's a blank canvas here you know we're not you know we're not judging you on what you did before so uh, maybe I say a wee bit of that that you don't want uh, you know it's it's nearly that if, if you're told too much about players you've nearly gone in with that bias already you know, so it's 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 trying to judge players on their own merits. Uh, so and, and probably it's it's one thing that you know you're going in usually with a, in many cases a brand new setup with their own ideas. That it's probably an area that that you know could be, could be looked at more. And it, pro it, it probably is with regards to the strength and condition and injury and all, all that say say the things. I would think that would be important. And, and again, I suppose the thing you'd like as well when you're talking about that transition is that I suppose the, never mind all that there, but it's it's the sort of the 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 good habits and the culture that you know you've built up. Did you'd you'd like to think that that they'd remain on after you go, and that that you know that like that was certainly the case when we came in that the, the you know the players were already in good habits, of great commitment, and and a very ambitious but a very humble bunch, and you know I'd like to think that now when when you know when we moved on that the the, the and I knew know from from chatting uh, all the boys that they're involved with them now they would tell you that you know that there's a great bunch to to work with and and you know and that's very important that I suppose that's not lost in the transition and that's that's more down to the to the players and and so on you know good good man Malagi um advice for taking four steps into management of, of our league teams um again I suppose well I suppose the first thing is 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 
prepare, you know, preparing yourself as well as you possibly can. And, and there's no better way than preparing than being involved with teams, you know, and, and coaching teams as much as you can, you know, whether that be underage, club, whatever else. It's just, it's just getting that experience, you know, that that's that's invaluable is having that. That's me. And then again, as I said, you know, reading, watching, listening. It's just getting yourself as well prepared for 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 uh, for the challenges ahead, you know, and then. Um, I suppose it's, it's then it's 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 just being prepared to, to take the chance. You know, it's it's you can you know people say, well, I, I wouldn't be experienced enough to do that, or I wouldn't be you know good, you know. But it's it's, it's just being prepared to, to, to take the chance and and uh, you know not to do what was it, I'd, I'd rather regret something I did than something I didn't do, you know. And that and but the, but the other big thing, and, and again, you know, I, I probably should have said this earlier. You know, I'm talking, I'm talking, you know to you Tony but but I'm very conscious that anything that I've ever done in management I've been very reliant on on the people around me the backroom team you know and that is ever event and like when I'm talking back to, to Monon uh, I mentioned Ryan Porter Leo McBride was with me all the time seven years uh, Finber Fitzpatrick was with me then Owen Lennon Colin McAree massive massive fellas who did serious work you know so it's 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 very much a, a, a collective and all the different skills and so on and I think that's very important you know that it's, it's very important the people you surround yourself with and uh, you know it, and, and it's 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 getting people I suppose with different skills as well and that you know the way you don't want everyone who I suppose in, in a way you don't want everyone who's really really intense you know, because that's not going to work. You, you need people who are good in different areas. People, you know, who are, who are good with, you know, like have good relationship with, with the boys. You need, obviously, you need then people with the expertise in, in, in different areas, you know, of, of play, you know, uh, analysis of games. And so it's, it's getting that, 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 that mix, which is very important. And again, fellas who, who you can, you, you know, you can trust you know, and that that's that's a that's a massive thing as well. And that you know, like I know I got loads of things wrong, but I know as well that you know once I got something wrong, and I was got something wrong, it it stayed among us or it stayed among a panel. That, you know, we're we're very loyal to each other. I think that that's 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 an important thing. You know, so it's 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 just that. And uh, so anyone who's 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 you know keen to to get involved, it's just here. Look at take the chance and, and you know again as I said before I mean you know and again look at the, I don't need to say this but it's it's players that that do it so it's it's you know it's you'll not do anything without having the the players and very lucky ever went and again with Monon very ambitious very driven uh players who who, who wanted the who wanted and you know who, who were you know self-motivated if you like you know what do you say would you say to prepare for sleepless nights? Uh, yeah, just a quick answer, Malachi. Uh, maybe... Well, no, not not the, no. I, to be honest, yeah, I wouldn't have had that many sleepless nights. My wife would often tell me here that, that <laughs> it was her that I, I snored through the night that she didn't sleep away. She she took the nerves away from me. So, but, no, I, again, look at it. It, it uh, I'm sure now there's there is nights now after a, after a bad defeat. Now it it, it can be tough enough, but uh, yeah, oh, look at that's that's all part of it. You know, I suppose that's part yeah. of the. You had many, you had many a good night, um, I will. Uh, more so. enough at a few good ones, but you've had plenty of bad ones too. Right, I see this question's coming on here, but we're still got a few, a few to go on as ones coming on here. So we'll do our best, coaches. That's all we can do. Uh, we see now. Uh, what changes, if any, do you think the events of the last few months will bring about for the way teams are coached and managed at club and county level? Um, well, I suppose in the short term, there there has to be a lot of changes. Um, you know, with with, with and, and I suppose it's very much up in the air at the minute. So I suppose for the rest of this year and and, and I suppose for the foreseeable future, there will certainly be changes. Whether it has a, a massive impact in the long run, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be so sure because you see, at, at the minute, I suppose the the. County inter county football, you know, that's the that's the the I suppose the flag flagship product 
of the GEA. And you know, there's they have you know there's TV deals. You know, there there there's there, that's I suppose that's that's what uh, generates the money that 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 hey, powers the rest of the GEA. And if 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 that's if that's going to be the flag flagship ship product, and that you know, and that's going to be on all the television channels, and and you know, well, teams can't teams have to keep pushing pushing the the boundaries and, and trying to get better and better because that's what's expected at that level because you are being you're being treated nearly as a professional sport um with regards to the to the finished product and if that if that doesn't change well i i i can't see how you know things are going to be rolled back because if you do well then the, the product's not going to be as good so unless there's a case where where at a whole ga level people said well look at less less concentrate a lot less on 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 this elite level and you know let's let's put a lot more emphasis on on on, on everybody plays the game at, at club level I, I just can't see how how the you know the, with regards to the demands is play, placed on players and that level of training and, and and the way that's keeping going I'm not sure that that's going to change that much uh, once this initial uh, period is over yes yes Good man. Right, Malagi, would you have preferred to be playing nowadays in the semi-professional and in some cases professional environment, or would you be happy to have played when you did where there wasn't as much demands on players? Well, definitely there wouldn't have been the, the same demands. I suppose the game was different then, and I'm just thinking, I, I often watch the game now and think I used to play in defence and I would have been happy enough to have a load of men around me, covering for uh, me, to be honest with you. Uh, I, uh, and, uh, but the, the only other thing I suppose in, in, in the past there was, there, was, there was a lot less scrutiny and <laughs> that maybe wasn't a bad thing either. But, uh, you know, I suppose the way the game has gone now, it, it, there's, there's serious analysis of it. There's serious preparation. There's serious tackling. It's, it's, it's very interesting. And, and to be honest, and I can only speak from from experience myself. You know, with with, with the modern players, I, I don't think the the players ever felt the demands were too great. You know, and I think it's it's how you manage it. And, and again, I, I've mentioned Ryan a few times. You know, with with, with, with regards to the training program. You know, would have always managed the load and wouldn't have been you no know, putting you no know, silly demands on the players. So uh, you know, I, I think I think it, it, it's a good time to be playing football as well. And in, in fairness, um, but the, the demands definitely would would be would be greater now than the were. But maybe maybe in some cases the the train would be smarter at the same time. And and I think people are most setups are are realizing that that you know it's it, it's it's trying to limit the amount of time that the players are traveling the amount of time that they're they're doing unnecessary stuff and maybe what this this particular period will will show is that players can actually do a lot of work on their own you know and they don't need to be coming together as much and maybe that will 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 uh, you might see that happening more often all right very good Malachi. all right we're going to move on to a few questions that come in late and maybe a couple that's in the chat box here um do you do you involve any sports psychology techniques into your coaching? Well, I think I, th I think you have to. I think you know coaching and management involves a lot of psychology, and it's it's not psychology in the in the what the you know the the strictest sense. You know it's you know it's not psychology out of books, but you have to use we psychological ploys, and and you you're trying all the time to to. I uh, suppose get the players. I always, I always think that, you know, you you just you don't want the players just thinking about football and thinking about the team when they arrive at training and, and then forgetting about. It. I think that it ha you, 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 what you really want is that the players, even when they're away from football and that, they're still it's still it's it's still going through the head. They're still thinking all the time. You you have them, you know completely I suppose not you know but to some degree engrossed in in what's going on and I think so I think you're using psychology all the time to do that and then we have used psychologists over the year too at, at, you know probably sparingly enough but you know just just to, to, at, at times if we if felt was needed. 
but there's no doubt the main plays a massive, massive par part in performance. And it's probably a family, it, it has, it's one area that has been neglected considering its importance. So, you know, it, it is definitely one thing that, yeah, would, would you know, we would put a, a fair bit of emphasis on, all right? Very good. Uh, a few questions come on here, Malachi. So we'll, we'll try to get as many as we can here. Brilliant. Uh, I know all ones, this is one that's come out, uh, I know all ones are important, but has there been one victory that was special to you? Um, uh, <laughs> tough, tough, tough one because you had a lot, of, you spot, had a lot of good ones, Malachi. You had a lot of, lot of good ones. So it's a tough uh, question. Uh, listen, that's, that's very hard. Uh, uh, that's very that's hard, obviously. Maybe unfair to me ask you that. Uh, you know, I look at, I've been lucky to win county titles, you know, and they're all all special. And it obviously, Luke then winning the Ulster Club. Yeah. For Mana, the day we qualified for the Ulster final was a brilliant. Uh, and then uh, obviously, Monan, the two old signs. And probably if I had to pick one, I would pick this, the second one with Monan because the first one, you know, the way if you win one, it's always people say, well, you got lucky uh, once. Uh, was the second one it was nearly we felt that if we wanted to be you know taken a wee bit more seriously we, we, it was important to win the second one so it, it was a, it was a, it was a, a, a great day as well but ah, listen they're all they're all good <laughs> uh, one one here uh, how big an influence had Jim McKeever been on your role as a manager or coach Jim had a, had a massive influence and and you know it's it, it, it's 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 nearly even the the as you moved away from it you realised even more how much it was because Jim didn't manage as you would know Tony Jim didn't manage by by well not by fear he didn't manage by shouting and roaring right. he, didn't, he managed and he, everybody that came in contact with Jim had massive respect for him so that was the first thing you did you never wanted to let him down. You knew that he had a real honesty and a real, I suppose, integrity about him. That you know, as 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 a person, was really great. And then he just he just got his point across in in very calm, measured way. Made a lot of sense, but without you know, what I was saying earlier, you know, it didn't overload you with information or anything like that. There. So I think you know, as as you moved on, even you realised how much you picked up from him and how valuable it was. Very right, good. He, I would absolutely agree with that. A mm. great, great man. And yeah. anything Jim said, I, it was worth listening to Malachi. That's right. He, he had, and a great player and a great knowledgeable man of the game. Um, from Kevin here, uh, for a player red carded in an important game, do you read the right act or put the arm around the shoulder? Uh, well, what do you say with that? <laughs> It, it it depends, you know, and and again, it, it it's very much. Look, probably I would say ninety five percent of people who get who get red cards. What word would you use? Are have been reckless, have been you know have been indisciplined, and you know it's very hard to put put your arm around them if if you know because it's so important not to get red cards. Maybe five percent, ten percent are are unlucky, and you, you know you, you, they've been. But but you've certainly, I suppose, you don't want players to to put themselves in that position. Having said that, in the heat of the moment, everybody has weaknesses, and 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 no no one more than myself. So it's a case you might be annoyed at the time, but when you go back, then you you, you of course you would you would uh, in most cases you would you would sympathise with them, but you you would have to be learning from it as well that this 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 isn't going to get us success and you know that, that uh, certainly if it happened the second time there definitely would be no arm around the shoulder. All right, very good. Uh, from John here, Malachi, I'm not sure, uh, did you, exp I mean, you might cut off, yes, you could. Have you, have you any advice on how to manage training game schedule in a club that plays both football and hurling? To be honest, it's, it's one thing that, that I, I have never encountered. Right. You know, it's a problem. The one thing again, it goes back to look at you have to you have to get yeah the people have to talk, and they have to trash things out and and come to a come to a to an agreement because otherwise, if you if you let things like that fester, there's there's going to be some damage along the way. So I think it's it's just a case of 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 
teasing things out and, and coming up with a, a solution that, that helps everybody. And Brilliant. look at, you know, you know uh, yourself, Tony, I suppose Sl Sl Slock Neil are the, the uh -huh. perfect example of that, and they have been able to manage it well, that, that they've been able to be successful in both. So if they can do it, I suppose it, it shows that it can be done. Uh, God, Slock Neil can do it very, very well. Excellent. Uh, three questions, Malachi. We're doing, you're, uh, you're doing brilliant, man. Uh, so we're three left here. So uh, from Owen here, what activities can you suggest that best practice social distancing for the new for the next few weeks until easing of the restrictions on the 12 boys football um any have you any it's that's a, that's a, maybe a difficult one just to throw on you there Malachi? well well it is but uh, and I, I suppose you know um I, I i'm lucky enough that i am not you know and haven't been had to think about that around the ends the one thing with with if you know Tony better than anyone, the one thing with underage players, they can do an awful lot of good work on their own, and they you know they they can practice and they can practice all the skills and they can put themselves under pressure and everything else, and you know there's 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 lots of things they can do without you know without close contact. So I I don't think with under twelves it sh it should be that major problem. And then when when things ease up, they can get back into uh, contact training and, and, and not, you know, not so much contact, but but uh, you know, the everyone involved and then comes back. Then what we said before, I suppose it's no different. And at a level, it still comes down to that decision making when they have the ball and things like that, and that that can come later on. But they can they can certainly refine their skills and you know and, and have plenty of space. Very very good, very good. Right, um, one from one from Brian McAvoy, who is head of uh, who's her. Uh, main man in the office of GA, and uh, so I would like to read it all out here, Malachi. Uh, firstly, firstly, Malachi, many thanks for your for tonight, and especially so soon after the death of your mother. Have you found any differences in preparing a club player for an Ulster club championship game compared to preparing for Manor or Monaghan Monaghan players for inter county championship games? Um. Again, it's a, it's a good question, Brian. Um, suppose you know the one thing about intercounty level, the facilities, the resources, and everything you have is 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 different, you know. And your um, you know when you go to training now and everything else, what what the the players do in preparation for training and. You know, during training, you, I suppose you're, you're you're dealing with with the top players in the county. So so the actual structure of sessions on will be will be different, and, and you would expect the, the 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 levels to be better. But with regards to actually what you want to achieve, you know, and and, and the the actual training session, you know, it, 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 there shouldn't be that much difference. And again, it's it's you know with, with clubs too. It's it's you know it's 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 a, you know setting the bar high and 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 you know expectations high, standards high, and that you know that you you really want players to 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 once they take the field, that once once they hit the field, that they're fully concentrated on what they're doing. And so I think it, it doesn't matter what level you're playing at. It's it's it, some of them things don't change. It's 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 just you know. Uh, being really focused on what you're doing, and so uh, facilities aren't the main thing. It's 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 uh, what goes on in players' heads and how how concentrated and focused they are. You know, so probably there shouldn't be that much difference. You know, this I said it was the second last one. I have another one. There was another one come on very late there, Malachi, and I, and I want to answer it. Uh, any advice on how you how you how you deal with the half time in games? Any process? Any particular process at half time uh, during that 15 minute interval? Yeah, it's it, it is a it it is a very important time, and um, it's look at it as one that I've, I've I've thought of over the years myself, and and see could could we do it better, and so, and again I think there's a couple of key things. I think what players need at half time, they need they need a calm environment. If, if if something needs to be told, they need to be told it. You know, depending on what way things are going. But I think more than anything else, they need a calm environment. They don't need a load of noise, a load of shouting, and things like that. I think there's a place for players talking among themselves, 
and and because they're the people who have been directly involved so they they should they should um have a good idea of what's going wrong and they should be able to fix certain things themselves um and then i think it's a case you know i i i, I do like the idea of 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 having some thing that the players can see with regards to you know key stats and things that not too many but you know a few things that that's needed and then again keep the information you're giving back to them you know fairly short you know because again you know the more i suppose the more you talk the more they'll forget so it's it's just trying to get the important information and getting it across so that that, that they'll remember the important information and you know at the end of the day you know, if you if a lot of the stuff, if you talk too much, they're not going to remember that. So it's, it's it's making sure that they remember the, the important stuff. Uh, very good. Uh, right. I'm going on to the last question, Malachi. Um, uh, the last question here for you, and it's been brilliant, and uh, I really appreciate it. The last one here, Malachi. How are you going? How are you enjoying the break away from management? And what does the future hold for Malachi? O'Rourke. <laughs> well, I, I am enjoying the, the break away from it, to be honest, and, and I suppose it wasn't so much that I wasn't, I wouldn't have felt I was worn out or tired or anything like that, but I just felt after after seven years, I just I just thought that the boys, first of all, needed a change, and I still would have, have, have no doubt that I was right in that. I, I just think that, you know, it's just a freshening up and to, to get boys going again. Um, would, would just the break itself I'm, I'm enjoying it you know and I, but I still I still I, I, I just I just enjoy I just enjoy the game I, I, I'm going loads of games as a supporter I would always be at football whether it's involved in management or not and be at matches anyway I have been since I was a cub and I would enjoy that I don't know so I'm going the football but I would still I would just say earlier on I, I would read a lot you know and would we get you know with regards to sport and you know just trying to keep learning as much as you can I just would, would enjoy that side of it you know and and between podcasts and and everything else so you know and, and you know just just enjoying the break obviously with with the family and then with the with the with the the, the coronavirus i suppose it's it's, it's kept ever and it's, it's brought families a lot closer together and uh you know just just enjoying getting out and, and enjoying the thing that that normal people do <laughs> no so enjoying it but no i'd, I'd still you know and still hopefully at some stage now I'll, I'll get involved again i would still have a, a hunger now to, to to get involved again i would think you know all right there's still there's still life in you malachi then you're saying <laughs> yeah i'd like to think so hi <laughs> good man uh, uh we see now just uh, i'm just gonna I'm just going to throw that up when I'm thanking Malachi here. Um, Malachi, what can I say? Absolutely, believe it or not, we're, we're going one hour there. You wouldn't think we're going half an hour, but we're, we're, we are going an hour. So uh, seemingly time goes so quick when you're enjoying yourself. I, I Absolutely superb, Malachi. And I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of all the coaches. Uh, a huge number registered for this uh, webinar tonight. And I'm sure everybody has went away with a, at least one or two golden nuggets on any day, night or any day. I'm sure you'd see yourself, Malachi, when you head home with a, a, a new idea or something, it'll only do you good. So, Malachi, thank you so much. Thank you to all the coaches who attended. I just want to say, coaches, next week, as you see on the screen, uh, I'm delivering another wee session on games and activities to improve handling and decision making. And um, there'll be only another, possibly another couple of weeks possibly, but next week we're going with this one here because thanks be to God, there's light at the end of the tunnel and uh, we're going to be back on the green grass again where we all want to be. So thank you, Malgi, thank you, coaches, and I really enjoyed the night. Thank you. Thanks.